Well, I don't know you can recognize this, but I have a little, not say trouble, but I'm kind of annoyed over the the rolling um, resistance or when you take a, a, a turn or a roundabout in the bus, it kind of twigs as a move around and you feel like it, it's about to fall over. And uh, I thought from all experience that it would be enough to have the front sway bar on, but uh, I have a feeling that it's the rear, well, I've not a feeling, it is the rear, uh, and have thought about making one myself, but yeah, all of a sudden, browsing through the catalog at uh, JP Group, I stumble across this one. A stable as a bar kit for uh, Volkswagen buses from 67 to 179. So I'm gonna give this a go, see what it takes to do it. Maybe some drilling and stuff, but uh, let's open it up and see how it, how it looks. Take some um, some drilling in the rear of the frame. As I can see, it should be fairly straightforward. Uh, they recommend then the car is on a lift. Obviously, I have that. But they also recommend you have it on fully load, so the the tires is on the ground. That will take a four point lift to do that. But uh, luckily, I using uh, short. Um, type 1 shocks in the rear, so the, the rear end is not that far down, so I think we'll be okay. And the plan is to get the, the, the shock mounts uh, fitted first with these brackets here, and then you kind of lay it up over and see um, where you have to drill the holes. It's pretty straightforward, uh, as you can imagine. This is not a rocket science, so yeah, this is what we're gonna do. And obviously the the how to is here. So let's see. Let's go. other stuff so uh, leaving this one fit exactly the how I want it as you could see on the picture we have a, a bow down here and uh, on the picture you can see it it hangs really really low so I think the system would work fine if you had a stock suspension uh, height of a bus but on a lower one you can have a a bracket guard down here it's gonna touch everything so I simply just cut it and twisted it and um, I'm gonna show you a video in just a moment where you can see me driving it at the uh, I feel a difference but I think if it should be perfect this would have been better just go straight over so we'll, you don't have this little bend that makes it uh, twist a little funny uh, this way but um, I didn't want to cut, cut it four times so I did it this way and uh, it seems to work better than before so um, yeah try it yourself um, it takes a little drilling it's not so bad uh, two holes then you can put uh, the bracket inside the, the frame and then the, the two um, bolt heads just sticks together and i trimmed a little bit of the the, the frame to uh, not make it rub 
against the, the stabilizer bar. So, yeah. I think it's good. Thanks for watching.